So I wanted to show you what I've been working on today. This is a cute little Easter basket that I'm also using as a place card for Easter dinner. So one side has a decoration and the other side has the person's name. I've already made nine of them since this is one. I'm gonna make the 10th one for you on a video so you can see what I've been doing. We have 10 people coming for dinner. So to start out with, to make this little basket, I started out with a six by six piece of white cardstock. I pull out my scoring tool here. And I'm going to score two inches all the way around. I'm going to turn as I go. I'm going to go ahead and grab my bone folder here and fold these folds. Grab some scissors and make a couple of cut marks. Same thing on the other side. And once you've done that, we're going to go ahead and round the corners with our corner punch. Now I don't know who originally came up with this design. So many different variations of it. All I can say honestly is that it wasn't me. <laughs> but it turns out so it's just such a cute little idea. Not just for Easter but also for other things. I'm going to do two of the corners pieces. Leave the center one alone. Two more corner pieces for the other side. And again, leaving the center piece alone. And we'll go ahead and use our ATG gun to put this together. corners stick up, you might want to use just a little bit of a glue pen to get those to stick down. Sorry, this is almost dried up and gone here, but which is what I'd prefer to use to put this together. But the ATG gun is faster. So these little squares that I'm using are one by what is that? One and seven eighths, I think. One and se one and seven eighths by one and seven eighths. And what's nice about this project is it goes fairly quickly, so you still have time to make a couple for Easter if you want to. Okay, so there's our first side. Now we'll do our other side. kids are so excited for Easter, especially the little ones. The little ones are the only ones that have the Easter bunny still come for them. The older kids, of course, still get candy. That's the only thing that they care about. <laughs> Do we still get candy? Even if the Easter bunny doesn't come for us anymore? Yes, you still get candy. Okay. Oh. Kidding me. I did my stripe the wrong way. Let's see if we can fake it here. So it's going to go like this. Oh, there's no way we can hide it. We're just going to have to deal with it. Here I am making mistakes. <laughs> Actually, I'm trying to see if I have... Oh, it's the last of my paper, too. Another option, let's see. Nope, I'll rip my paper. We'll just have to deal with it. To deal with the fact that Kathy makes mistakes. And we'll survive. <laughs> and then next to do our handle, 
I have a strip of white cardstock that measures, um, if I get these measurements wrong, I'll put them down below. But I believe it's um, six by three and a quarters for the white piece and six by five and eighths, but by five eighths for the little pattern piece that goes on top of our little handle. So I'll go ahead and put that together. it just like this and now once we've done that we can put our handle on and I'm just going to grab a little bit of sticky strip to do that a pair of scissors so we'll flip this over stick a piece right here side which I'm going to trim and once we've done that we can put our handle on so you're going to want to put this in the middle I'm actually going to do it yeah I'll do it this way so I just kind of eyeball where the center is and jump up on there it around and lift this piece up. We'll do the other side of our handle. Just removing the sticky strip. And again eyeball my center and jump right on there. And there we go. We've got our handle on. And then I want two more pieces of sticky strip. It's really important that you use sticky strip when you do this or it will not be able to handle the weight of your candy. Pardon my horrible nail nail job. I just haven't gotten to do my nails yet. It feels like there's always something going on. Busy, busy, busy. Okay, so once you've done that, we can remove our sticky strip. And we're going to pull these up here. And I'm just going to pull it enough so that it covers the handle. Give a good firm press. Make sure that it's stuck. And we'll do the other side. Same thing, just enough to make sure that my handle is covered. You can't see the bottom of it. So that's the basic part of the box. And then let me show you how I decorated it. So I went ahead and cut some circles and scallops and I'm using the um, Cricut American Alphabet cartridge which is loaded onto the Cricut Expression. So you don't have to use the same cartridge if you have another cartridge that has scallops, etc. on it. But I went ahead and I cut the doily out but I cut it at blackout right here, so it's on page 63. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. I cut it out at 1 and 3 fourths, and then I cut the circle at 1 and 3 fourths as well. And I cut two each, so two doilies on blackout and two circles. And then I also flip to page 32, and you'll see this cute little bunny right here. And I cut it also out at 1 and 3 quarters. So I cut out the main image in pink this time, and the little overlay in white. And so once I have that, we can go ahead and put our scallop together. Just like that. And then I want to use some pop dots on my bunny and my little main piece. I'm going to put a big one on the back of this one. And a little one on the back of our little bunny here. Oh, cute. Little buddy. Sorry, I think I'm losing my voice. Spring break, kids are home. Hopefully I haven't been yelling too much, but I'm kind of feeling like I have been. So there's the one side. And then I also have Uncle Chris on this one, because that's who this is for. And we'll put that on the other side. There we go. Okay, so once we've done that, then I want to put some paper inside to, you know, give it some bedding. And how I did that was, I took one of these Fisker tools and ran the paper through so it would come out corrugated. Just like this. 
And sometimes I don't get a good shot. It looks like I missed my roll there. Let me do it one more time. There we go. Okay, so once you've done both your pieces, it's probably easier to do this on your paper trimmer, but because I have mine out of shot here, arm, arm's length, I'm just going to grab these scissors here and cut some little crinkly paper. And then I'll show you some of the other baskets I made so you can see some of the different color variations. All of my pattern paper is coming from the Echo Park Springtime paper Pack. You might want to make these a little bit smaller than I'm doing it. That looks good. And then I'm just going to crumple them all up just like this and stuff them inside our little basket. And then on Sunday we'll fill them with treats. Probably some cute little peeps or something. Anyhow, so that's how you make it. So there's my yellow one. I'll slide up and show you a cute little hot pink one. And I have a blue one for my baby, Spencer, because he likes, he needed a more masculine color. <laughs> the pink and yellow wasn't going to do it. And here's one. And let's see, one more. What can I reach here? Well, let me show you the one I did for my husband, too. Put some green, some darker green in there. Let's make it a little bit more masculine. So again, here we go. If you have any questions or comments, please leave me a post and have a wonderful Easter. Thanks for watching. Bye.